What's a natural community? In forestry, we're used to describing forests using what we call cover types. Cover type is just a description of the trees that are here now. If there is a bunch of white pine trees in a forest, we call it a white pine forest. If there's a bunch of hardwood trees and hemlock trees, you might call it hemlock hardwood forest. But now I describe forests by their natural community instead of by their cover type. The interesting thing about natural communities is it allows us to make a deeper assessment of not just what a forest is now, but its true identity. Across this landscape, we have these forests that are super altered and super degraded. And so what a forest is now may have very little to do with what this forest has been for thousands of years. So by defining a forest natural community, we're making more of an assessment of what this forest has probably been like for thousands of years. And also all other things aside, climate change aside, deer overpopulation aside, introduced pests aside, what this forest would be in the future. One of my favorite ways to describe it is that if a cover type is a forest face, a natural community is its soul. So an example of this is I'll be walking through a forest with a bunch of white pine trees and by cover type we would call this white pine forest. But what I'm seeing in the understory is all these little sugar maple trees. I may be seeing rich site indicator plants like seersucker sedge and wild ginger and blue cohosh, maidenhair fern. And what that's telling me is that that's actually what we call a rich northern hardwood forest natural community. A natural community type that's often dominated by a high proportion of sugar maple trees, also species like basswood and bitternut hickory and butternut. The fact that that forest happens to be a white pine forest cover type, all that it says about it was that this was an agricultural field of some kind, probably within the last hundred years. And white pine is really good at colonizing those old fields. So in the case of this white pine forest, that's actually a rich northern hardwood forest natural community. By removing those white pine trees, we're doing restoration. We're helping our forests heal from the wounds of the past and really to become itself again.